Last month, the Manchester Second City Crossing opened, and this was to be the final piece in the Metrolink expansion project, which has cost £1.5 billion. However, this has not stopped an ongoing chronic problem over the numbers of people who continue to dodge payment of fares. Such concerns were voiced at this new Metrolink station at Exchange Square. And here are some of the passengers' views. It's just not fair if people are paying them somehow, so they're getting a free tram ride to wherever they've got to go while people are paying like £30 a week. They'll need some form of regular ticket inspection because people do it because for instance if you buy a ticket you get to Victoria and nobody checks your ticket you're thinking I could have got away with that. I'll say one thing with the especially with the train I think uh, if you used to get caught cool without a ticket you were made to pay there weren't you? I think now a lot of people kind of try and get away with it essentially. Yeah it bugs me but I, I also do get it because if you're a young lad and you don't have the money to get into town and you just want to get into town I do understand completely. Last year, over 30,000 people were caught without a tram ticket across the Manchester Metrolink network. It is clear the expansion has improved city links to stops like Exchange Square, but will this lead to a decrease in the levels of ticket dodging? It remains to be seen. Kieran Duggan, Mancunia Matters.